Hey guys, what's up? So it's Sunday and I got a little burst of energy and decided to clean out the entire refrigerator and the pantry. So I thought, why not give you guys a little tour? So I'm gonna give you a tour of my refrigerator and my pantry. Let's do it. All right, so here is the refrigerator. I'll kind of walk through and show you what I have in here. So to start off, we got some Kerry vegan butter. I like to have that. Let's see, here in normal condiments, stuff like that. Here's some aloe water that I just made. It's really good. This is the Udo's oil. So this blend is really high in omega fatty acids, which is something that I've really been trying to up in my body. So I have that going down here, just normal condiment stuff, um, barbecue sauce, organic ketchup, sriracha, you know, that kind of thing. Um, this I like to pour over some ice cream when we have it, so a little indulging, why not? Then we have almond milk down here, and then here's just any of our random drinks that we have. Got some kombucha going on. All right, moving up here, the top shelf, I like to have the stuff that's left over or meal prepped up here on the top shelf so you can easily reach it. So let's see, in the back I have some tomatoes cut up, some peppers, olives, move some salsa back there, have some guacamole. This is a tofu scramble, carrots, lemons. I love having lemons already cut up for in the morning when I have my warm lemon water. And then this is leftover pasta and vegan Alfredo sauce that I made. Over here I have tofu tempeh right there. Moving down here, this is where a lot of the fresh stuff will live. So we have some grapes, mushrooms back there. And then I'd like to put a little towel down and wash everything and then place it on this towel so it can get absorbed. I have some bok choy right here. And then this is dandelion root, which I'm going to juice and it's gonna be so good. Little tip, eat dandelion root and arugula with fat so it helps it absorb. And then I got some organic celery, so I'll probably juice that this week. Moving down here, I have, this is where we keep our vegan cheese. So we have the Daya brand right there. Love this cream cheese. It's so good, I highly recommend it. Down here we have some bread. This is for my husband. I am gluten-free, so I don't eat that. I have some cauliflower. I like to make some buffalo cauliflower for July 4th. Also Beyond Meat Burgers, which are the best. So so freaking good. If you guys have not tried this, please try it. It's awesome. Have some lettuce, some arugula, all uh, green leafy vegetables. I have organic. Moving on down here, have some apples, some nectarines. We got limes and lemons in here. As you can see, I don't know if I'm filming this very well, sorry. And then in there we have some jalapenos and some organic cucumbers. So that is the fridge, everyone. I will now show you the pantry. Okay, before I forget, this is the little stand that we have. Got this at Marshall's, love it. So we keep a lot of our tomatoes, avocados on this rack, our fresh fruit. I like having some fruit in the fridge and some out, um, like obviously bananas and stuff like that. Um, tomatoes should stay out of the refrigerator. If they go in the fridge, they lose their taste and it gets kind of weird. Um, and then I have potatoes down here. Keep this little garlic in a little bowl. And then down here we have the onions. And so yeah, I love this little stand. Super convenient, easy grab and go. It keeps things organized. Moving on to the pantry. So as you can see, we have a very tiny pantry. So we have to kind of keep it organized or else I go crazy. So let's see, starting at the top up here, we have extra condiments. We have some tortilla chips. Let's see, in here we keep like little snacks kind of a thing. Skinny Pop is in there, the organic kale chips. So we don't keep a lot of processed stuff. Um, so yeah, anyway. So down here, I like to have everything labeled. So there's lentils, black beans, sunflower seeds back there. And I like to keep stuff in glass as well. This is roasted hemp seeds. Have some quinoa, rice back there. Over here we have the fermented cabbage that I'm making. I had a lot, so I will put this in here for about three to five days, and then I will take it out, try it, see if it's fermented enough, and then I'll keep it in the fridge, and it can last for a few months in the fridge. Uh, back there I have some oatmeal, and these are Clark's little buns. Again, gluten-free, so 
can't have those. Anyway, moving down here. So I have a lot of the superfoods down here. So I have my um, blah, blah, words, Brazil nuts right there. Walnuts back there are chia seeds. And then this is nutritional yeast, which I love. Super high in B, I have stuff all over it. Super high in B12, um, has a cheesy flavor to it too. So you can add it to salads, meals, etc. Uh, let's see, we have dates back there. These are blender bombs. Someone gave these to me. I haven't tried this one yet, so it's open, but I haven't tried it. So basically what it is, it's like compacted superfoods. You throw it in a smoothie, blend it up, and it's ready to go. So let's see about that. Goji berries, flaxseed meal right there, hemp seeds. What else do I got back here? Some bee pollen, which I haven't used in like forever. Um, and then right here, I'm making my own yogurt. There's stuff all over this. Oh gosh. That's cabbage, great. Anyway, so I use coconut cream and an activated packet. So basically I got those off Amazon. You mix it together, keep this in here for about 24 hours in the cool, dark place. I know it's lit right now, but a cool, dark place. And then you put it in the refrigerator for 48 hours and then it ferments, take it out and then you can scoop it into uh, coffee. You can put it as just yogurt with some granola on it, add it with fresh fruit. Anyway, that's enough on that. So let's see, let me get these out of the way. I have my spirulina powder. I love this. It's a complete protein. It's so good for you, an amazing superfood. Love mixing this with like bananas and coconut water. It's really good. I have some wheatgrass back there. I need to relabel. Let's see. And then on this side, this is like the Italian side. So love this bonza. It's gluten-free and made from chickpeas, as you can see. So I can have this. Um, some of the stuff back there, Clark can have. It's like normal, not gluten-free, but also vegan. Um, I have some marinara sauce back there. So it's kind of our Italian corner. Let's see. And then we also have some of the pad thai noodles. We like to make curries and um, a lot of Thai dishes with fresh vegetables, um, coconut milk. It's really good. So this is an easy thing to make as well. Moving down here, we have our canned stuff. So let's see, have some organic peanut butter, tahini back there I cook a lot with, have our olives, jackfruit I'm obsessed with, pickles I'm obsessed with, have some salsa, coconut milk, I need to get some more. And then a lot of our beans here, pinto beans, black beans, refried beans, let's see, garbanzo beans back here. And then Clark likes to take these um, organic vegetarian chilies to work. Some diced tomatoes back there. Then I have some miso ginger broth. That's fun to make some soup out of that. Down here, we have some protein powder, some of Clark's supplements for working out or whatever. Um, apple cider vinegar. Little side note, do not have this mixed with your celery. Um, don't ask me all the details, but just don't do it. <laughs> and that's a huge thing of coconut oil back there. And then this basket here is kind of like, hey, what kind of treats can we have? So let's go through it. Have some vegan marshmallows. I'm gonna make some Rice Krispie treats out of that for July 4th. Super random stuff. Like, I don't really like these, but whatever. It's random stuff. It's like grab and go stuff. Justin's peanut butter or almond butter. Some chocolate, dark chocolate. So as you can see, kind of just like random stuff. Oh, these ginger chews are really good. Those are awesome, I love those. So some pumpkin seeds. So honestly, it's just really random stuff. And then up here is our, it's kind of like the baking section. It has some coconut flakes, raw cacao. These are really good. They're vegan dark chocolate, little M&M version things. Have some vegan dark chocolate nibs, some sugar back there. It's coconut sugar, baking cocoa, potato flour, and I'm really disappointed. I thought, because buckwheat is gluten-free, but when you look at the back, there's a, it's mixed with other things and it contains wheat. It's very upsetting. So I'm gonna give that to my parents or something like that. Anyway, okay, well, thanks for, oh gosh, thanks for checking out what we have going on here in the Davis household. So there it is, guys. And I will give you a little sneak peek of what I'm about to juice. So I have some carrots. We have one grapefruit, oranges, ginger, lemon, and some turmeric. So that's gonna be a yummy juice. Maybe I'll do a little blog about that. Okay guys, so I'm about to go juice what I just showed you. And 
that's it. Thanks for watching this quick little tour of what we have in our house. And um, yeah, have a good rest of your day, guys.